Hi you guys, how y'all doing? Um, welcome to my saga of my plumbing problems, right? Um, I was just getting ready to scrub my sinks, the ones that were back up, because, you know, I thought, well, maybe they weren't going to work again. And of course, um, they worked for two days in my toilet. My toilet upstairs now, you guys. Um, not good. And I know a lot of you don't use common anymore, but oh my God, it, because, oh, it's so abrasive. You know what, though? It works so well, and it smells good. It takes out the stains. And this is not a sponsored ad, but I don't know. I think um, this one's scratch-free. Now, that green can of common, I guess, does the scratches, which I don't know why you would buy them, but um, I just need to clean my eyes. Uh, sinks more often. I don't know why. I ran, well, I couldn't find the comment like for two, three weeks. So it's like, oh, okay, that wasn't good. So that's what I'm using to clean my sinks. I have to do, anyway, my uh, upstairs toilet because it is leaking now. It doesn't flush again. That was when we had flushing problems. It worked for two days and, and then I flushed it the other night. It didn't go down. And then the water, the water coming out of the base underneath the toilet on the floor. I'm like, so I got towels up there and uh, yeah, not cool. And I took a shower this morning and of course the tub's not draining. Uh, I just have so had it with this place. I just, you know, not only that, but they upped the rent like another hundred, over, over a hundred more dollars. And really you guys, it's the worst plumbing, uh, the heat uh, with the air conditioning. We got two air conditioning, um, you know, the portable ones that were working, it still was 93 degrees in here, you guys. You know, I, they sold it to me, you know, when it was winter, so you don't know about it. But I feel like if I move, I should tell the new people, you know, this is how it's going to be. I mean, it needs awnings at least to, you know, get the direct sunlight because we got floor to ceiling windows. And that's just, and it's supposed to be like 85 tomorrow. I'm like, we just keep our, our windows and blinds drawn, which is not not a way to live. And also, a little dog food I find all over the place from the little monkey thing. He's surveying the outside. You want to say hi to the people? Maybe when he gets closer. But anyway, yeah, called the plumber yesterday. Um, well, not the plumber, I call our management thing. Didn't hear from him all day. I'm like, I'm thinking, good thing we got another bathroom downstairs because. There's no way I don't think I would run to, uh, like, the mobile station or a gas station for the whole day. I just heard from him a little bit ago, which was about 11 o'clock this morning. He goes, I'm so busy, but I'll be there tonight. He goes, good thing you got another bathroom. I'm like, okay, my thoughts exactly. But, man, if I didn't, you know, that's, that's just as crazy. So I'm just at the point where if and when I move, it's going to be newer plumbing. It's going to not be old an older place anymore. I know they're less expensive, but you know, in the long run, it is okay to spend a little more money. Um, my place is a mess. I'll show you. The kitchen is, look, ah, I got to go through all that stuff. Oh, there's a monkey. Hi. They hi to the people. <laughs> let's just, let's just focus on mukbang for a minute. Hi. They follow my Instagram on monkey the pamimo. Yeah, I changed it, huh? Okay, uh, just gonna got a little, couple little tidbits for you. I'm not gonna keep you, but my plumber problems are ongoing. Luckily, I love Carlos to death, and he brings somebody to help him. But you know, it's just so frustrating. Not only does it not work, because in the middle of the night when you get to the bathroom, we gotta come all the way downstairs, and we've been doing that like for three or four months, and now it's happening again, right? My audience of one. Right? You want to see the people? Say, I'm watching my Mimi because see my Mimi. <laughs> I guess he's camera shy today. But anyway, yeah. Not only, though, is it inconvenient for that, but you always got to clean and scrub after they're gone because they don't wear those little booties on their shoes. And, oh, my God, who knows where they have been, you know. And then this thing pops up on my thing. Hang on, guys. I got to get back to you. I don't know why it does. Hopefully, you're still with me. And it's still going. Okay. It's just some weather thing that pops up on the screen. and It's annoying. My computer is just falling apart. But anyway, you guys, I'm so, got to get something to drink for a minute. And i got to go out and do laundry, which will be my next thing's going to have 
uh, washer dryer in my facility for sure. Oh, you know what? If this is a screw off, I'm going to have a, have a little sip because I don't know, just lately it just seems like oh, things just, it's kind of almost too much for me sometimes, but you know what? It's going to get better. I, just, I don't do good with plumbing things or car problems. Not my thing at all. So, okay. That's why I guess it would be nice to have a man around for that. I feel like that's, you know, usually they say, oh, that, have a man to do the trash. I can do the trash. Just do my car, car stuff, which is why I had always bought a new car. I don't have that kind of problem. I don't know. This was $8.99. I think that's why I bought it, but I love it. It's, it's Barefoot brand, Pink Moscato. I love it. It's kind of kind of got a little fizz to it. Anyway, you guys, cheers. Cheers to the plumbers. Thank God for them. Bless their little hearts. <sighs> okay. All is well. I'm sorry. I didn't really do my hair. I just kind of washed it. And I also want to tell you, I know somebody uh, said something about your hair looks healthier on one of the Vegas things. Maybe not so much today, but, um, DP Hue products. I've been going to DP Hue, uh, with Trisha. She's been taking me. I'm like, oh, great bunch of people and their products are to die for. Check it out. DP Hue. Don't get a kickback, but they are really good. Especially the apple cider. Uh, it's apple cider vinegar. Uh, it's a, sh a shampoo, but it doesn't have suds. And you would think... First time I used it, because it um, gives your hair a break from this, you know, the detergents or whatever's in that. First time I used it, you guys, I'm like, how is this going to get my hair clean in that? But when I dried and I did it, it was amazing. My hair felt so soft. It felt uh, just clean, just a clean thing. But So look, check out that, the apple cider stuff too on the DVD who, but the oil is really good too, which I got to put some more in. And what is this you say? Oh, I gotta get some Poshmark out today. So, and I wrapped my Poshmark in that, so I gotta do that. I wanna, I was gonna make some spaghetti sauce today, so I got the fresh basil like this. I see it's moisture. And maybe I should put that in the fridge. I'll put my glasses on to see if that's the case. Um, I meant to have hot dogs, of course, you guys know. So I got, Nathan's got hot dog buns now. So I've got the uh, Nathan dogs and I got the Dodger dogs, right? Monkey, you're just so precious down there listening to Mimi. I got you guys. Got, let's see if I can catch him on this, okay? I'm sorry. You guys probably think, oh my God, she's obsessed with mukbang. But look, he's just sitting down there listening. Oh, now you're sitting up. Are you listening to me? Okay. <laughs> he's so funny. So anyway, uh, oh yeah. If you guys see this, this uh, girl on, on tour, she, uh, a lot of people give Trisha some gifts and stuff, but. This was so cute. She made these. One for each of us. And one for Callie, one for me, one for Trisha. So, is that you? Let's see if I can. Let me see if I can read her name. I'll give her a shout out. Or, or, where do you meet glasses go? Oh. Oh, it says two mama paytas. And Gina Squazo? Squazo, you want to come up? Oh, you want this. Oh, okay. Come here. Come here. I come. What? <laughs> Anything I got, he wants you guys. Anything I got. But anyway, so cute. This is going on a Christmas tree that'll be six feet high off the ground because of some little baby dog. Uh, I know this is, this is probably should be thrown away. This was um, bread from Cheesecake Factory. Uh, and of course, like everybody has on their counter, a bottle of tequila. Uh, oh, I like to say I cook with it, but you know, you just never know. Right, right. Okay, uh, first of all, this is my um, uh, cooking uh, tip, the kitchen tip for the day. Um, I was, you know, such a big fan of the kitchen, minus a couple of the people on there. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm watching a kid's show the way some of them act. I'm like, okay, but you know what? I'm going to keep watching it because... Sometimes they do give really good tips. And one of them was, and here you go, you guys, you're going to say, oh, my God, back. What, are you crazy? No. Don't wash your chicken. Don't wash the raw chicken. Mm, do not cut out. And I'm like, what? Because that was all the thing. You know, wash your chicken and then wash your hands up. But you know what? 
very, you know, you'll get it when I tell you this. When you put it in, like in your sink, I got you, I got a little boy. <laughs> when you put it in your sink, you're splashing the chicken, the bacteria all over, all over your sink, all over your counters, because, and you think, well, how do you know that? They had a black light or whatever they use, and when it was done, oh, I'm sorry, you want to kiss me? You know, you want my lipstick. Um, they did that black light, and it was all over the sink and the counters and the walls, so don't wash your chicken. Just, you know, and I get it, because you're going to heat it up anyway, you're going to get rid of all that, and the bacteria or, or whatever, and I don't think it's dirty chicken in that container, but, um. So you can be my co-host here. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, don't wash your chicken, you guys, because that magic light picked up the bacteria. Wash your hands after you put it in the oven or, you know, on if you're going to fry it, whatever. Is you the happy dog? Are you the happy dog, Dan? Happy, happy dog. Happy, happy, baby dog. I love him. Okay, so that is cool. Also, my latest, as long as we're talking about food and in the kitchen, my latest food obsession, you guys, is making, well, my bacon is my thing, right? Uh, bacon, I feel like they just want to see your face. Bacon I make in the morning. I put in English muffins and I toast it. And I cut up a bunch of tomatoes. And I stack it inside my uh, English muffin that I put mayo on. I am now not a Miracle Whip girl anymore. I used to be. That's what I grew up on. But I like the mayo. I like the mayo. I think he's going to say it like this the whole video. Right? It's you. Do you like the people? Say hi. I'm a ginger baby dog. Oh, he probably sees the wine. <laughs> and did you blink? Can you guys see? He's got the cutest little.